all right people yes from the bad news you can see i'm in red now this afternoon but i've come to let you know that it's not over yet until it is over it's not over with us as chelsea we are chelsea it's not over until it is finally over as we speak chelsea is still pushing the player is in london chelsea is still pushing it's now before we are up and doing from all indications the player is in london be london because he is expecting chelsea to sign him the whole squad is in Stamford bridge they are to train there today and the player was expecting that today he'll be completing the deal and join the rest of the squad in training today in Stamford bridge but as it stands right now it looks as if he'll be looking up to the airport maybe going to liverpool for the medicals anyway i just want to know something this very hour it's not over yet chelsea officials are still pushing hard they believe that the player had already agreed on personal terms with them the player had already agreed personal terms with chelsea brighton might have accepted liverpool's bid of 110 million pounds chelsea are presenting a fresh they are working around the clock to see how they can present a fresh bid that will surpass the 110. We, are, we want to beat Liverpool, according to sources. Chelsea want to beat Liverpool right now as we speak. And so they are working hard to see how they can work it around the clock. And I have been really reliably informed that Chelsea and Torah, Chelsea executives, they have already met with a player and his entourage this morning, speaking to them and explaining things to them that they are still pushing. Chelsea have met the player, that's Casado, and his entourage this morning, trying to see how best they can go around the whole situation and resolve the matter. And they are willing, Chelsea is willing right now as we speak, to up the amount to outbeat Liverpool. Liverpool has given 110, and Chelsea is ready or they are preparing to outbeat them. It's never too late. Today is Friday. So keep your hope alive. Anything can still happen until the player is gone for medicals with Liverpool. As a matter of fact, Klopp, that's the Liverpool coach, has already spoken. And he said, he made a statement. If you listen to him carefully, he made a statement. He said, yes, agreement has been reached. But the player is not yet with them. <laughs> agreement has been reached with the club. But there was there is no agreement yet with the player. If you listen carefully to that statement, you know that Klopp still has a little doubt. You know that he knows that until the player himself agreed to their terms, he's not yet their player. So he made it very clear. Yes, he heard that Liverpool had reached an agreement with Brighton. They want him. They need him. But until the player is with them, until the player agrees to their terms, according to his own words, and he said, we want the player, not just the agreement. What does that mean to you? We want the player, not just the agreement. The agreement with the two clubs, that is not what he wants. He said, we want the player. It simply means that the player had not yet agreed to their terms. They want the player not the agreement to the club to club so chelsea still has every reason and every right to keep pushing because the player is in our favor he's in london right now from last night with his entourage and like Klopp rightly said we want they they want the player not just the agreement take note of that phrase that should give you hope as a chelsea fan and he has been speaking, Klopp has been speaking regarding the upcoming match. He said, Pot is a top manager. He acknowledged our coach as a top manager. He acknowledged our coach as a top, top notch manager. Pot is a top manager. We have to be ready. 
That means that he knows what to expect from a top manager. Likewise, Chelsea, we also know you, club as a top manager. And we know what to expect. We'll be ready for you, despite everything. Whether you win Liverpool beat or not, we will be ready for you on Sunday. We also know you as a top-notch manager, club, just as you know us. But we will be ready for you on Sunday. Now, regarding the statement he made in 2016, I'm talking about club, he made in 2016 when Jose Moreno signed Paul Bogba. When Jose signed Paul for Google for Man United for 100 million euros, he made a statement in 2016. He said, the day that is the day that this football, then I am not in a job. What he mean, meant then is that the day that his club will buy a player in this sort of with that amount, then he is not in football. I am not in a job anymore. The day that this club will buy a player in, of that nature, then I am not in football anymore. It's, and when he was asked about the same thing today, he said, honestly, everything has changed. Do I like it? No. But did I realize I was wrong? Yes, definitely. Now that it favors him, he realized that he was wrong. When it favored another coach then, it was too bad that if it should happen to him in his club, by then he wouldn't be a football coach anymore. I was expecting him to resign from last night when the news broke, the news broke that his club is buying a player of 110 million pounds, a British record. But today he's changed his way. He said he realized it, that he was wrong then. Because at that time, it did not favor him. Now that it favors him, he's admitting he's wrong, that he was wrong then. What about now? Club, you better resign your position. When it favors you, you're now saying you were wrong then. So the, the coach then, if the coach then wanted to reply or respond to you, that would have become another war between two coaches. And they will say Moreno, Moreno. You say Moreno, you say Moreno. Now, you see, to the match on Sunday, we are ready for you once again. Don't worry, Clock. Just as you have admitted that you were wrong then, definitely. said, definitely, I was wrong then. And honestly, everything has changed. That was your weight. That means that right now, you know and you've admitted uh, it's not always as you think. That is why I have come to announce to you this very hour. Casado, we are we, we are Chelsea, and we are still coming in. We will come up with our bid, unless of course it's Brighton that denied us the deal. Then we will now walk off. If Brighton says no, it's too late. We will now turn our back. But as it stands right now. The opportunity is still there for us this morning and our our executives are working hard. Chelsea fans, keep your hope alive. Last but not the least, Harry Kane is currently about to fly to Germany to conclude his deal. He has been granted permission by Tottenham. Harry Kane has been granted permission by Tottenham to fly to Germany to conclude his medical and the transfer to take effect. As we speak, he's been gra granted permission to travel. So as we, right now, he is ready with his entourage moving to Germany for the, for the medicals and to conclude the signing. Good luck to you, Harry. You've done a great job with Tottenham. It's a perfect time for you to move on with your life. Shalom and peace.